Hey everybody, welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Master Grade Curios from Gundam 00. I'd like to start off by saying this video would not be possible without my sponsor, Galactic Toys. If you're looking to get one of these for yourself, or if you're just looking for model kits and hobby supplies, check out their website with the link down in the description. Also, make sure to use code YSG10 at checkout for 10% off your order. And with that being said, let's get on to the review. So as you can see up on screen, there is the Master Grade Curios, and it looks fantastic. I'm a big fan of the mobile suit design in Gundam 00, and seeing the Curios brought to life in such a great way is amazing. And I mean, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I love this kit. It was a super fun build, and it looks great up on your shelf. This thing has absolutely no poly caps and is super solid. Every joint feels tight, but not too tight to the point where it feels like you're going to damage anything by moving stuff around. So because of that, this thing will definitely hold any pose you want to put them in, and you can put them in a lot of poses considering the articulation on this thing is really awesome, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But anyways, going off overall appearance, this thing is stunning. The clean, sharp sculpting of all the pieces, the excellent surface detail, and the vibrant colors. This thing was not only fun to build, but fun to look at as well. And Speaking of colors, that orange is just my favorite. I love it. We need more orange mobile suits, honestly. The orange is great. It pops, it's vibrant, but it's not too saturated and doesn't look cheap. Bandai really knocked the visuals on the Curios out of the park. Hopefully, we can see this level of quality going forward with a potential Master Grade Virtue in the future, and hopefully we get an Exia 2.0 down the line. Because, let's be real, we all know it could use a 2.0. But anyways, yes, the overall appearance of this kit is great. I really like it. One last thing I'd like to point out about the appearance before we move on to the next segment is the GN cables. You can see them in the upper thighs, the sides of the waist, and the backs of the arms. Also, you can see them on the top of the head. These are actually resin parts with a holographic finish. And I don't know if my camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but when they catch the light, they look incredible. I guess if I had to say one thing I didn't really care for about the appearance of this kit would just be that silver sticker on top of the head. I don't really know why. I can't put my finger on it, I just don't like how it looks just sitting there. So right about now would be the time where I'd be going over all the seam lines on the kit and showing you where they are in case you want to fix them, but I'm looking all around this thing and I really can't find any bad ones. I guess the only one I can really find is running along this back part here, but other than that, it looks great. There's no real bad seam lines anywhere. Now, moving on from the looks, let's take a look at the accessories. Here's the Master Grade Curios with everything that he comes with straight out of the box. And you can see that we definitely do have a decent little selection of accessories here. First up, we have the sheet of foil stickers. There's only a couple and they're all mostly just for cameras. The two number four stickers are just used for the arms as you can see right here, or well, you probably can't see them on the camera, but they're under that piece of green plastic right there. And we also get a sheet of sticker style decals. The only sticker I used from the sheet was this one right here, which goes in the center of the chest behind that round piece of green plastic. Again, you probably can't see it on the camera. I doubt it's going to pick it up. It's very faint even in person. Up next, we have the GN Drive, and this can hold two Bandai LED units. I'd show off what it looks like with them inside. Unfortunately, I don't own Bandai LED units, so I can't show you. The GN Drive pops off in two sections to store the two different LED units. And when it's closed up, you can twist it back and forth to turn them on and off without having to open it back up. If you want to place the GN drive inside the Kyrios, all you have to do is lift this back part up and out of the way and move these small arms out of the way as well. Then just slide the GN drive in and close everything back up. Up next we have the beam sabers and we get two beam effect parts and two handles. The effect parts slot into the handles just like so, and this is how the Kyrios will look like holding both of the beam sabers. When the beam sabers are not being used, they can be stored on the inside of the rear skirting armor. All you have to do is pop that out flip the skirting armor outward, and push the beam saber onto that little handle in there. The little pegs that hold the beam sabers are supposed to rotate around, I believe, but mine don't want to for some reason, and I'm not going to fiddle with it because I don't want to break them. Also, I would recommend not swapping the beam sabers in and out from their storage too often, not because you're going to break anything, but because that connection is really tight, and it can be a big pain to try to get them out. Next up, we have a couple pairs of alternate hands. Here's the Master Grade Curios with open hands, beam saber holding hands, trigger finger hands, and closed fists. Up next we have the GN SMG, and this thing looks pretty great, I really like it. As you can see it has a green foil sticker for the camera, and you may be thinking to yourself while looking at this, how's it going to hold on to it because there's no handle, right? Well the handles that we get with this kit are actually modular and they can be taken in and out as you need them. Just take one of the handles, pop it into the bottom of the SMG, and he'll be able to hold it no problem. And this is what the Curios will look like with the SMG in his hands. The SMG also features a neat little gimmick with the camera where it can be popped in and out using this little lever on the back. There's also one more way to mount 
mount the SMG onto the Curios, and that's with this little hole right here. This allows us to plug in an adapter, which will let us place the gun on the side of the arm instead of in the hand. Up next, we have the GN hand missiles, and we get two of these. There's no moving parts or any functionality to these, but they do have the same exact connection points as the SMG, so they can be held in all the same ways. Put the two modular handles in the bottom, and this is what the Curios will look like while holding the GN hand missiles. And here's what it will look like with the GN hand missiles mounted on the sides of the arms. The last major accessory we get with this kit is the GN shield. I love the look of this thing, I love all the lines through it, I love the shape of it, it looks really cool. I'm not really sure how practical it would be just as a shield, but it looks cool, so that's all that matters to me. Anyways, it does have some moving parts, so let's talk about all of those real quick. On the back here we have the connection point for the arm, and this can slide up and down and rotate a full 360 degrees. This middle segment can also pull out and rotate 360 degrees. The front half of the shield can split in two to become these pincer arms, and we get a little bit of a hinge articulation right here. So there is the fully transformed GN shield. And to attach it to either arm, you take this connection point that I mentioned earlier and just snap it right onto that little back segment right there. And this is what the Curios will look like with the GN shield attached. Something I really like about this kit that I like to see on kits in general is the fact that it can hold almost its entire arsenal on it at once. Of course, the exception to this being you can either have both beam sabers in the hands or you can have a beam saber and the SMG, but otherwise, yeah, it can hold basically everything, and this is what it will look like with everything that it has equipped. The last two accessories we get are a 1-100 scale pilot figure of Alleluia Haptism, and we get an action base adapter, and the only thing I really don't like about this one is that you have to actually pop the entire back skirt off in order to put this on or take it off. So that is absolutely everything to do with the accessories, let's move on to talking about the articulation on this kit. Starting from the head, as usual, we have this back yellow fin on a hinge joint that can move up and down, heads on a ball joint, can spin around 360 degrees, the ball joint is mounted on a hinge joint so we get a little bit of forward and backwards, and the ball joint that's mounted on a hinge joint is mounted on another hinge joint so we can move it even farther forwards. Now I don't know if this is a problem with the kit in general or if it's just my kit, maybe I put it together wrong, but every time I move this second hinge joint forward, I end up having to push it back into place with tweezers or something because if I don't, the head won't move back into place all the way. You can look up that far and look down that far. Shoulders can move back a decent amount and forward a decent amount. We get a very nice rocking side to side motion at the top of the torso, and we get a little bit more side to side at the bottom of the torso as well. We have a not that great rotation at the waist. We get an okay ab crunch, and he can lean back an okay amount too. These two front panels can open up, and this cockpit hatch could be opened. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but there is a seated pilot figure inside of there. We get a full 360 at the shoulder. The arms can move up that far. 360 degree speed spin at the bicep, we get a very nice bend at the elbow, and there's actually a neat little gimmick if you look at the back, when you bend the elbow it exposes more GN cables on the inside, and we get not one, not two, but three hinge joints at the wrist, and the thumb sits on a ball joint. The rest of the fingers, like we saw earlier, are not articulated, they're just swappable. The orange parts on the back of the shoulders are also on a ball joint. Now the front skirting is probably my least favorite part of this kit when it comes to articulation, because they don't really move around that well, and they like to pop out a lot. They have these tiny little tabs you can set them on to lock them in place, but I don't really bother with that. Of course, as you can see here, we have no hip armor, but the back skirting does move, which is really nice. To get to the back skirting easier, we can move these two parts on the back, which are both on hinge joints. The top one's on a double hinge joint and can move all the way up, and the bottom one can move straight out. The back skirting doesn't move when it's tabbed in, so you have to pull both sides out a little bit, and then you can actually move them up pretty far. This thing can pull off perfect splits, back and forth rocking motion at the hips, full 360 at the upper thigh, an absolutely beautiful double jointed bend at the knee. It's got an okay front kick, but it makes up for that with an amazing backwards kick. The huge fins on the knees can be popped out of place and rotated downward. 360 spin at the ankle. Ankle armor moves up and down. Top of the foot moves up and down. We get a really nice downward toe bend and a really nice upward toe bend too. The heel can flip outwards and the ankle can move up and down. So that's everything for the articulation of this kit, but we do still have one last major thing to cover and that is the transformation. Now this kit is actually the first master grade I've ever built with a full on transformation. Usually I personally don't really care for transforming kits or if they have a transformation, I just never transform them because I usually prefer them in their mobile suit form. I don't really care for the flight modes, plus it usually just looks like a Gundam laying on its stomach. But even though I am more biased to mobile suit mode and I'm definitely going to display this kit on my shelf that way, of course I am still going to show off the entire transformation for the sake of the review, and I'll be showing off the finished transformed alternate mode. Thankfully the transformation for this kit is really simple, so let's get right into it and we'll see how it looks when it's done. So to start off the transformation, you're going to want to make sure he's holding both the handles. Next flip these shoulder pieces down, move the head up and forward, and then 
and fold down the yellow fin at the back of the head. Separate the two back pieces, flip the top one all the way up and make sure that the fin is poking through the hole, and flip the bottom one down. Flip these yellow fins out, put the adapters on both arms with the pegs facing outwards, then rotate the arms inward. Make sure the hip joint is moved forward, flip up this little tab on both shoulders, fold the shoulders upwards, and the tabs we flipped up plug in for a secure connection. Next you want to bring the arms all the way down, and fold the orange fins down as well. Rotate both legs outwards at the thighs, angle the thigh outward and point the lower leg down just like this, point the feet straight down, pull the fin on the knee out to release it and then push it down, rotate the ankles just like this, attach the hand missiles to the adapter and you can attach the SMG as well. Split the end of the GN shield open, plug it into the arm and then close it around the fin. Plug it into an action base and that's everything. So here is the fully transformed flight mode for the Gundam Curios and I gotta say it actually looks really good. Like I said before I'm really not a fan of flight modes in mobile suits, uh, at least I wasn't until now because this looks awesome. I'm not even exaggerating when I say I kind of want to buy a second one just to have one in flight mode and one in mobile suit mode. Of course if you flip it over it still does look like a Gundam laying on its stomach and it, yeah it does look really goofy but from the top view it looks way better than I thought it was going to. Now before we end the review entirely there are a couple of gimmicks and features for the flight mode that I'd like to cover. So one of the things you can do while the Curios is in flight mode is you can switch out the weapons to your liking. You could have the SMG and one hand missile like I have here or you could take the SMG off and have two hand missiles or you could have none at all. It's completely up to you. We have a tiny little visual gimmick going on towards the back segment here. If you take this little tab and you push it forward, it'll pop out some hidden verniers. It's not really too impressive or something you're even going to notice at all once it's up on the shelf, but it's a nice touch. And the last gimmick of flight mode would be the landing gear. Now this would be helpful for people who want to display it in flight mode, but maybe don't have an action base. So to deploy the landing gear, all you have to do is push in the scope of the SMG, slide out this panel in what would be the crotch section of the Gundam, and flip these parts of the feet down. Once you do this, the Curios in flight mode can rest flat on the ground. So with that being said, that is just about everything covered for the Master Grade Curios. Like I said earlier, I really, really like this kit. It's visually great. I love looking at it. I had a fun time building it. I actually built it in one sitting just because I ended up having so much fun building it. I stayed up late. I didn't want to put it down. The build never got tedious, which was great, and the plastic was really pleasant to work with. Overall, I definitely, definitely recommend this kit to fans of Double O fans of the Curios or people just looking for a great new Master Grade. Of course, I gotta say thank you again to my sponsor for hooking me up with this kit, and if you'd like to get one for yourself or a kit like it, I definitely recommend shopping on their website and using code YSG10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Anyways guys, that's gonna just about do it for the review. If you made it this far to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Alright everybody, thank you again for watching, I'll see you guys next time, this has been you. Gundam signing out.